Hello, how are y'all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Jackie Russell and today I have something special to share with you. I have a box here that is called Betty's Blessings. I don't know if you are a believer or not, but I am. And I read up about this little box and I thought, mm, I'm going to subscribe to that and help me with my walk with the Lord. You know, there's a lot out there that we can take in and we can look. And I know many of us are parts of, you know, Bible studies and church families. And that's all wonderful. But sometimes it's nice to have something new and fresh, maybe with some fresh ideas and just, um, just a nice little devotional time for yourself between you and the Lord. And today we are going to open up Betty's Blessings. This particular subscription runs $29.99 a month. Um, you can get it for a little bit less if you do three months, six months, or a year. Um, I signed up for six months. I want to see how this does, and I think it was like $26 or $27 a month that way, and the shipping's $4.99. So around $35, uh, give or take. I mean, in my case, it might be down to $33. But that's about the cost of this box, and it comes out each month. And it just came in regular, I guess, plastic packaging. But let's get on into Betty's Blessings. It's Betty's Box of Blessings. Let's see what we have. Let's get this all open. Oh, looky there. Well, we have a product sheet. Blessed in the desert. Do you ever feel like you're in the desert? Like you're just sitting out there all alone? No one to talk to? Or maybe there's just something that you have on your mind that you really can't share or you don't feel comfortable sharing at the moment? But you can take it to the Lord, I can tell you that. You can take anything to the Lord. He's listening. This says, Dear friend, thank you for joining us on this journey we call life for being a part of Betty's Box of Blessings. Whether you are using the contents to bless others or to bless yourself, I think you will find great value in each product, not only dollar-wise, but more importantly, spiritual value. Have you ever been in the desert? You know, a dry season when God feels distant and far away. I imagine a lot of us felt kind of off last year with 20... 20 being such an odd year with that disease going around. Um, those times when you wonder, hey God, where are you? I've heard it said that if you're not now in the desert and you've never been in the desert, then there's a good chance you're about to go into the desert. So when you do go into the desert, it's always nice to know you're not alone. Amen. And I don't mean the misery loves company kind of companion who pulls you down. I mean the kind of companion that has been there who can pick you up. So this month's Betty's Box of Blessings theme verse is Luke 4, 1. What does Luke 4, 1 say? I am going to let Allison Allen tell you. You are going to love this. The book, Thirsty for More, Discovering God's Unexpected Blessings in a Desert Season, is a truly insightful book, and the author Allison Allen points out our theme in this verse in Luke 4, 1. Well, hey, let's find that book in here. Thirsty for more, and here it is. So we're going to have a book about the desert. Discovering God's unexpected blessings in a desert season. So God is waiting for you in the desert. We've all been there. So we've just kind of touched on that a little bit. But this is, you know, it's very true. There's sometimes you feel isolated or you feel alone, and you're really not, but you may feel that way. And this book is going to give us some lessons, no doubt, about Luke 4, 1, which says, The scripture passage starts off with an audacious statement about Jesus' desert experience, saying that being full of the Holy Spirit, he was led by the Spirit into the desert. Every time I read this, I have to sit down with a fresh. The Holy Spirit, a part of the Trinity God, led Jesus into the desert. She'll also point out later, if the desert of preparation was deemed necessary for the author and the finisher of our faith, then I believe it will be deemed necessary for us. So then she goes on to talk about how it made her think of a song, Spirit Lead Me. So this is all about being in the desert, not being alone, 
and learning more about how you can fulfill your Christian life and feel more, I guess, closer to God. And also, you know, if you've got friends or anybody that you would want to share this with, you might could go through it together. So I'm looking forward to reading this book by Allison Allen, Unexpected Blessings. Now, it doesn't necessarily have a product sheet, so I guess this whole theme is going to be about the desert and how to lift you up. And um, it does say at the bottom, P.S., whether it's your loved one or in the desert, know this month's box of blessings will help you grow in your faith and share in your faith. And it will also encourage you to know that this month's box has a retail value of $88.15. So that's kind of nice that they let you know. I pay $27 plus shipping. Book alone can sometimes, well, in this case, this book is $14.99, just to kind of let you know. It says it on the back there. We have a devotions book for women, Inspired by the Word, by Valerie Quinsberry. And it's very pretty on the outside, and I'm sure it's going to have some very helpful things on the inside. So we have something like Hope. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalms 31, 24. So this is going to have a lot of different little verses and like a little study devotion. This is called Known. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. 1 Chronicles 16, 8. This lovely devotional created especially for you in mind will enhance your faith as you spend quiet time in God's presence and the biblical-based inspiration alongside encouraging scripture passages from the beloved King James Version of the Bible. 100 words including peace, wonder, miracles, heaven, purpose, celebrate, and more complemented by memorable devotional readings will inspire you to think more deeply on the heavenly creator and his promise filled word well that sounds very interesting i'm gonna like that and the next thing i have look here guys i don't have to go buy me a crossword puzzle here's one right here 150 crossword puzzles seek the lord and his strength and his face continually and it's got the letters down here at the bottom and then it's got some of it all ready filled in. I find this very useful. And not only will I have fun doing it, but I'll be also immersing myself in the Word of God. Oh, looky here. Worship mob carry that fire. I got a CD. It's got the song called Satisfy. Our Father has won. Arrested by grace. We are yours. Love outran me. You make me brave, downpour, here with you, more and more of you, light up the world, nothing but the blood, hmm, I know that one, nothing but the blood of Jesus, love, break down these walls. <laughs> that reminds me of President Reagan saying, Gorbachev, tear down these walls, well, God is much bigger, and he can tear down any wall that you've got built up if you let him. So I'm looking forward to listening to these worship songs. We have something else in here. The Lord bless you and be gracious to you. I'm not certain what this is. Let's open it up. Here's what it looks like right now. I think, I think it might be cards. But I'm not certain. Do y'all still put out cards? Do you still mail, you know, cards to people? Or do you just let Facebook do everything for you? I still send out cards from time to time. So I'm hoping that's what this is. It's nice to have some good, encouraging cards to send out to people when they're in need. When they've lost a loved one or if they're having a special birthday. Oh, okay, yes. It is cards. Joy, hope, love, peace for someone special, encouraging. That's good. These are all encouraging cards about how God can bless you. So if you've got a friend that's kind of down or going through a hard time, the love that we share, you can send this on. You're the kind of friend every heart should have. 
Isn't that special? If you've got a special friend, you can send a card to. You know, people do like getting cards, and they're very pleased when their friends send them cards. I don't know. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to like this. I love this already. Fearless is trusting God to do the impossible for you, through you, and in you. That's beautiful. Yeah, I love that. All right, well, those are great. So apparently, we get a little music, get a little game playing, um, get a book to read, get a devotional, and we got one more thing in here. And it looks like, oh, how cute. I think it's a mask. How appropriate. Um, during this time, you know, we like little colorful decorative things. And look at this. It says, Blessed Desert. Looky there. Cool. Matches my nails a little bit with a little daisy on there. I love this. It's real comfortable. Fits on nice. Yep. Very nice. It's not too tight around my face. I love it. All right, guys. This is my Betty's Blessings. I feel like I've been very blessed. I got a CD to listen to wonderful worship songs. I got a puzzle book, which I told you I'd love that already. I got a devotional book of the inspired word. I got thirsty for more while we're out in the desert. And I got the mask and all these lovely cards. So I'm going to have to say this is a great value because, you know, if you want to get a decent card to send people, I think I got about 10 cards at the minimum. Now, a nice one you're not going to get for a dollar or two at the dollar store. I mean, you get some good ones there. Don't get me wrong. But these are a little nicer than that, and you would spend easily 3 to $5 a card. So that there is a value in itself. A CD is going to run you um, maybe 12 This book, you know, that does crossword puzzle, this is not flimsy. It's got a protective covering over it, so it's not just flimsy old paper. So this is a nice book, and it's thick. It's going to have lots of puzzles in there. And then this book, too, it's a hard cover. It's very nice. It's, you know, a good size for carrying in your purse. We're going to be going through the desert here, and we're not going to be alone. The Lord's going to be with us. We're going to have materials to keep us blessed, keep us excited, and in the presence of the Lord. I hope that you have enjoyed Betty's Blessings. I will be having this at least five more months. I have subscribed for that long, and I can't wait to get my next box. I can't wait to start reading and studying into these things and not feeling alone in the desert and know that God, that I'm in his presence, he's in my presence, he's with us, he's hearing us, he hears us, he hears our prayers. So don't ever feel like you're alone. The Lord is with you. I pray that y'all will all be blessed and I thank you all for stopping by and I hope you were blessed by this today. I hope Betty's blessings is a blessing to you. And that's all I have for today. I'm going to be really blessed here when I get through all this reading material and playing the games and hearing the music. And I'm looking forward to it. And I thank the Lord every day. And I thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And if you would, why don't you just go ahead and subscribe, hit that like, and hit the bell. And every time I have something new coming out, you'll get to have an opportunity to see it. Come on back and let's just be one big happy family. I thank y'all. I appreciate you and y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.